Hey guys, it's Rubik's Cubes, and today we have an unboxing from Amazon.com. As you can see, I'm out of breath because I was sprinting all the way down my driveway just to get this package because I'm really excited of what's going to be inside it. This came from Amazon.com, so it came very fast, of course, and there's like a lot of Moyu cubes in here, so it's a big Moyu unboxing. So, I'm very excited to get into this. Sorry if the camera's a bit shaky. Anyways, I can open it from here. The in here should be a few more cubes. Some of them will be shape shifting cubes. Others are end by end. So I think it's a three by three, a crazy yuling, a crazy windmill, and a four by four. Oops. There it goes. Yep. Yep. There's a lot of four by a lot of cubes in here. And I'm very excited to get into each and every one of them. Let's put the box away. Let's start off with the the YJ Sulong. Yep, so it's a typical Oh! It's a Guan Long. Sorry. Yep. Anyways, it's a very cheap cube, so not expecting much out of, out of it. It's definitely good to have my kind of like collection. If I compare it to a owl long. But I can just find the same green so yeah. Not that big of a difference in size. Let's go on with first turns. Wow, it's very smooth. Very dry, like all Moyu cubes. But it's also that lubricant on the outside. It actually feels a little bit smaller than the Owlong. Maybe because it is, but I'm not sure. But it feels great. Good cube. Let's get on with the Thing One Magic Cube. I don't know what this is. I think it's. Yep, the Crazy Windmill Cube. This is a shape shifting cube. My first Moyu shape-shifting puzzle and I'm very excited to look into it also one thing on the Guanlong is that it's got very tight tension so corner cutting is not good at all but anyways wow look at those shades they are very warm for some reason well, maybe because I left it out in the sun for a long time it was in my mailbox for like a day because I didn't know they already arrived Shades look amazing. Let's go on with first turns. Wow, that's very smooth and lubricated, actually. Yeah. Oh, that looks sick. That is very pretty smooth. I love Moyu because they make such nice cubes. This is great. I'm not going to do a solve in it because I've never seen this before. But I will definitely be making a review on it. And it does shape shift, I think you've already seen. It's kind of hard to turn compared to like other shape shifting cubes I have. Which is none, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with the Moyu Weisu. I actually had an Aosu already, but I didn't like it because I felt the turn turning was kind of like a bit clicky. And I also didn't like the stickers, how they were so big. I wanted smaller stickers, and the Weisu has that. So I'm excited to unbox this. We got pamphlets, useless stuff. Let's get off the cube. Ooh, that looks very nice. Okay. So yep, the stickers are smaller than the Aosu. Or actually, are they the same size? Whatever. I'm pretty sure they're both the same cubes, in a way. So let's go on first turn. Wow, that's very smooth. That's very dry. It's, it's lubricated. I can definitely feel that it is. But it's... Wow. This feels almost like my Aulong. That's smooth and... Nice feeling. Yep. Just what I wanted. Very, it, the inner layers are very lubed. Very lubey, I would say. Because I can really feel that... Let's go on with corner cutting. Oh, not great. 
probably because the tensions are tight AF. Look at all that. You can see all the lube in there. I'm not sure if it's visible, but there's a ton of that of lube in there. Yeah, great. Now, the final cube, the crazy Yiling. I have waited this for a long time because I've heard so many good things about it, especially compared to the windmill. So, yeah. Uh, I also wanted to see the difference between the Yiling and the windmill, see which one's better. Oh, that sticker just fell off. Or was it already off? I don't know, but... That's one downside I think I've heard is that the stickers fall off. These stickers fall off quite easily. I'll probably glue them down. The little tiny ones. Because I've already seen that this one's falling off. Definitely not placed right. I don't know how to sticker this. Anyways, uh, first turns. Okay, a little bit less smooth than my windmill. It's still great for turning. I don't know if you can really do M slices on these, but it's always worth the shot. Anyways, it's pretty tight tensions. And it's smooth, but still not smooth. Like, Bit rough, a bit rougher than the crazy windmill cube, but it looks great. I love the shades. Um, only problem is that there's like this mark on this orange side. This guy is going to be f coming off pretty easily, many times. Hopefully, no other stickers are misplaced. Nope, not that I see. I'm going to enjoy these two cubes quite a bit, and let's just see the differences between the two. Okay, uh, on the white side, it seems that these pieces are a bit thicker and wider than this one, so I don't know if that makes a big difference, but they're both, uh, they're both, you know, when it comes down to the way they are solved, they're both 3 by 3s because there's both corners, edge pieces, centers, and probably the same algorithm will still work on this. I'm not probably. I'm probably not going to be using F2O and beginners. I'm probably just going to be using beginners method to solve these because F2O might be very hard to find or to recognize on this cube. Anyways, those are the two Moyu shape shifting cubes, and here is the Guanlong, which is very light. I, I can literally. I don't know why it's really light. It's almost as light as my Guanyin, and it seems pretty good. If you ask me, it's not gonna be my main. Definitely not, but it's definitely nice to keep in my collection. I think I have another Guanlong coming in from the cubicle. I don't know. I think I think it was like I thought I ordered a Sulong, but I think I ordered a Guanlong probably. Cause the box is Guanlong. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't. But, you know, it'd be great to have two Guanlongs, because then I can sell one for a higher price than I got it. Because I got this for about $5, and I got my Guanlong from the Cubo for about 4 so I'm definitely going to, I'm gonna, definitely going to love having two. I really thought I ordered a Sumo, whatever. So these are the four Moyu Awesome Cubes I unboxed today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do give it a like if you have. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.